And one more thing I want to take a look at, memory. Let's see if you have a brand new virtual RAM. Yes. So we now have virtual RAM. The phone already has 12 gigabytes. Now you, you're getting four gigabytes of additional RAM. And of course, we have some S Pen related changes with this brand new update. So that's great. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have some great news. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is now able to sign up for One UI 4.0 beta. Now, I have an unlocked model in the US, and it's working for me. So, to get this update, the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the latest Samsung members application. So, click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you want to scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you want to click this link. Once you click the link, it's going to take you to Galaxy Store. And basically, you just want to install or update to the latest Samsung members application. Once you have done that, you open up the application. And here's what you want to look for. Now, on the top, you have a banner. If you keep scrolling, you're going to come to the option that says One UI Beta Program. If you don't see it there, you can go to Benefits right here. You can click on Benefits. And that's going to come up there as well. Uh, at least it should. So it's going to be at the bottom. So once you click this guy, it's going to ask you to register and sign up. So make sure you click register and also make sure you have a SIM card in your phone. If you don't have it, it's not going to work. Then you can read through all this information, tap on enroll, tap on agree. And it should say you have enrolled in the One UI beta program. Registrations might take up to 10 minutes to show up. So after this, after 10 minutes, or you can do it right away, you just go to your settings and then you go all the way down. You go to software update and you tap on download and install. Okay. Now you may or you may not see it right away. As you can see in my case, it is not showing up right away. That is normal. Could take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but it is going to show up. So you're going to have to keep checking. All right. So it took my phone five minutes. I did a quick restart. I came back here. And boom, that came out. So it's now downloading the update. And once it's downloaded, all you want to do is you want to install. And just to be safe, I'm going to show you guys the size is going to be 2,428 megabytes. And it's going to be ending in UK 7. And also there's a list of all the new features listed and available right here. We are going to go over uh, most of that stuff. So I'm going to click on install now and we're going to be right back once the update is complete. All right, so the update is now complete. Let's go to the settings real quick. Look at the new features. Before that, I'm going to go to about phone. I'm going to tap on software information and you can see we have Android 12. And then if you bring it to number 12, okay, it's going to give you that animation. So that's fantastic. Let's look at the new features. Now, the first thing I want to quickly talk about is my favorite feature so far. If I go to YouTube, okay, and if I play a video, I'm playing a video right here. Let me just kill the volume, play. Now, when I do picture in picture, now it is much more smoother. And also, you can resize this to any size that you want. So it can be tiny, it can be medium, it can be maximum. And that's what I was looking for. This big screen is great as I'm doing stuff at the bottom here. I can continue to watch my video. And of course, I can put it to the side as usual. But everything is simply smoother and cooler. All right, so we do have some changes graphically to the S Pen interface. So when I bring up the Air Command menu, you're getting this brand new option here. You can see on the top, we have a little tutorial. Here I have my other menus. These are all my Air Command options I can access from here. And these are my Air Actions that I can use by pressing the button right over here. So this looks a little bit different than what you get on the S21 Ultra and on the uh, Galaxy Fold. Okay, it's a little bit more advanced here because we have this uh, upper part. And if I click on this, nothing happens, no big deal. And of course, uh, I'll let you know when I use one of these options, uh, the graphics are a little bit different. So all this stuff at the bottom is now cleaned up. It's white and a brand new thing. If I enable the dark mode with the S Pen, that dark mode is now going to apply to all my menu items. So look, even this has gotten dark in the past. This was the fixed color. Okay. 
Now you have the non-dark mode option if you so desire, which is great. The more customization, the better. That's brand new color. The next thing I want to talk about is in the settings, okay? Uh, if you go down to advanced features, we now have a brand new labs option. In the labs option, we have some experimental features such as multi-window for all apps. So normally, multi-window is restricted to certain apps. With this one, it'll work on any app, okay? And we also have a new interface. So let me just show you. Let's uh, do a multi-window. Let's say split screen. And let's just dump something down there, the weather application. And look at that. Super smooth, super cool. Slightly new interface over here. I just love the way they have smoothed this out, okay? But now, it's going to work with every application that you download from anywhere. And of course, we have some design changes. So if when I pull the notifications panel down, you can see we do have a new design. Uh, the buttons, the brightness slider, everything is now after Android 12. When I pull this down, you can see we have a bunch of differences. We even have a new options in here. So if I go to this, tap on edit buttons, you'll see that we have some new options. We have the new extra dim option. So if I put this here, uh, extra dim allows you to make your phone dimmer than it already is. So if you're here and you quickly want to dim it, boom, it's going to dim that phone, that display. If you have the brightness at the lowest setting at nighttime in your bed, your phone could still be bright in pitch black. So with this one, it takes it one step down so it's easy on the eyes. So that's a new feature as well. And then we also have that brand new music controller option right here. Let me just clear these out, okay? So we have this one right here. Let me go back here, tap to expand. That's the music controller. It's the new one. You got pause, play, next track, and you can exit out. And also, you can tap on this media output button, and that's going to give you this new menu that's going to allow you to switch between different music outputs. So you can use your buds, your phone, your speakers, any Bluetooth device connected to this phone, you can choose from this new menu. And of course, Biggest, one of the biggest things people have been looking forward to, press and hold, go to the wallpaper and style, and now we have the color palette. The color palette allows you to, allows the phone to extract the colors from the current home screen wallpaper. So if I go here, these colors, my bad, right here, these colors have been extracted from the current wallpaper, and I can choose a theme based off of these colors. You can see there's some subtle differences but it's all different. When I click done, they get applied. Look at that folder colors have changed. If I pull this down, the color on the top here has changed, so that's great. If I go to my phone dialer, the color of the phone dialer and the button here, everything is changed. So maximum levels of customization here from the color palette, and it's the good news is it's all based on the actual wallpaper that you currently have. And furthermore, you can apply, you can extend this customization to the colors to the icons. So if I click on this and click done, now it's going to take a couple seconds to load, but all my icons have changed color as well. Not just the folder colors, all the system icons and available icons have changed colors. Fantastic. One more thing. When I uh, press and hold or pinch the screen, go to the settings, I am now able to access this new menu. It's add media page to home screen. I can turn this on and off. If I turn it on, I can go inside and I can switch between various services. Uh, but this is this thing right here. I don't personally like it, Samsung free. Normally you pinch the screen, go over here, turn this off. Now, like I said, press and hold, tap, boom, boom, it's right there, all right? We also have changes to device care. So if I go to my settings, if I go into my device care on the top right here, we now have a smiley face. So when you optimize your phone, uh, instead of giving you a number, it gives you a bunch of smiley faces. That guy means you're good to go, you got sad, you got indifferent smileys that show you the levels of optimization on your phone. At the bottom, we have two new options that were linked to device care. Software update, diagnostics. So software update right here, you can download and install as you can see, but now it's linked directly to device care, that makes sense. And then we have the diagnostics menu that launches the members application and goes straight into the diagnostics menu. So that's fantastic. And from here, 
you can diagnose your phones to see if there's any problems. So in this case, the battery is working normally. And then let me go back here. Also, if you go to battery, uh, over here under more battery settings, you now have the protect battery feature. This is gonna stop charging your battery when it's plugged in at 85%. So instead of going to 100%, it'll stop at 85%, and that's going to, believe it or not, extend your battery life. So that is great. We also have, and that's one of the major changes and a new feature right there. The next great thing, when you launch the camera, the camera application is using the camera. So on the top, you're gonna to see a green dot uh, that indicates that the camera is in use. And when I pull this down, you're still gonna see it up here and you can actually click it and it's gonna say being used by camera. So that is great. The same thing is gonna work for microphone and the camera. Any app that accesses your microphone or, or, or camera is gonna show up a green dot on the top. So look, camera application, boom. We got a little green dot right there on the top. So that's great uh, as far as privacy is concerned. And if you go to settings, go to the privacy, you're gonna see you can disable camera access and the microphone access. So it's almost like a kill switch for the camera and the microphone. No application can access these right now because they're turned off. All right, of course, you wanna keep these turned on to use most applications. But if you wanna go off the grid, boom, boom, disable. On the top, we have a little permissions used in the last 24 hours table. I can click on this. It'll give me a full uh, range of applications that have used my location, my camera, my contacts in the last 24 hours or last seven days. So if I click on camera, you can see camera has used the camera application today at 8.28, okay? So you get a lot of detailed information if you like these kinds of details. Now in the camera application, when you're using the zooming, now you have these numbers. Instead of it saying, uh, you know, having photos, it says 0 0.515. And if I were to choose 20 times optical zoom, it will say 20X right there. So I like that, okay? I wanna see a number, not just photos of what's happening. So that's great. It actually has numbers. So much more easy to control the zooming capabilities. Now, another big thing in the camera application, when you go into your camera, when you go into your settings in the camera, under scene optimizer, we have the scan documents feature that's already there. Now it has been enhanced and works even further. So when you use your camera to scan documents, it's gonna be much better than before. So you're easily going to be able to capture uh, documents, receipts, study notes, whatever you want. We also have a new menu, safety and emergency. So if I go over here to, let's see, safety and emergency, you know, we have the medical info, emergency contacts, SOS, all that stuff has been bundled under safety and emergency. So that's great. Under location, you can also go to app permissions and you can work with locations for each app. So if I go to my messages application, I can say use precise location, don't allow the location. And if I do allow it, I can actually make it non-precise. So it's gonna be an approximate location. So that app is not gonna know exactly where you are, but it's gonna have a ballpark. But with this one, it's gonna be precise. So for example, the maps application, obviously you need to do it precise, otherwise, you're gonna be all over the place. So you have that option with every single application. All right, so those are some of the new features for One UI 4.0 for the Note 20 Ultra. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?